we got to know our first guest, Jay Farrow. <laughs> When he landed a coveted role on Saturday Night Live, he was just 22 years old. He went viral for his imitation of President Barack Obama. <laughs> you know, so Jay is currently in the middle of a nationwide comedy tour. He's got dates going through October, but he's also very busy because he's about to put on his whole movie star thing. He's got a new role. We get to see another side of Jay's talents. He's taking us back to the disco era. He's playing real life record executive Cecil Holmes, who founded or co-founded Casablanca Records with Neil Bogart. For background, some of the biggest names in music were on this label. Donna Summer, Gladys Knight, Bill Withers, The Village People, and even Kiss, just to name a few. Take a look. We were wrong about Kiss, Neil. And we were wrong about Donna. Even George and Spaceship. We were just wrong. And here we are. Still betting money we don't even have on them. I can't even pay my... If we're wrong about Carson, we are not wrong. Cease, not about any of them. We just haven't figured out a way to finally be right. Ooh. I told you a whole different side. Please welcome to the Tan Fam comedian, actor, superstar, Jay Farrow. Amazing. Hey, I had to. Thank you. I had to. I had to put on. I knew I was coming on Tamron Hall. I had to put on. <laughs> I like it. And and you yeah, yeah, listen. The Cougars is out here, so I'm, <laughs> I like Cougars. Okay, real talk. We are live. I got ready to throw to the tape of the film, yeah. and I heard someone go, "I love Jay Farrell." <laughs> I don't know who. I, it was so loud I could hear it while trying to focus on what I was reading. <laughs> Uh-huh, the cougars are out. Yes, uh -huh. I, hey, hey, what's up, Miss Patty? How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Miss, listen, this film, I'm you're gonna rock people's world with Thank this you. role. Thank you. Uh, I gotta start though with the acts that they discovered. I named a few there. Gladys Knight just got a beautiful honor, uh, the Medal uh, of Arts just last week. Yeah. The list goes on and on. There she is. There. Hi, Gladys. So beautiful. Oh. This was just last week. Regardless. But they also, P-Funk and George Clinton. Yes, The list goes on. What yep. were, you're studying for this role that you first got word on, hey, Miss oh, Clinton, 2013, man. you yes. got the role. It took years to go to film, but your playlist had to be insane. Yeah, I mean, well, my parents are old school, so yeah. I knew a lot of the music, you know? Like, yeah, they old school. Yeah. Like, we would, like, the Isley Brothers, that was the soundtrack of my house when yes. you had, you, you know, Donna Summers, Bill Withers. Like, come on, man. So I was, I was so familiar with the music, but I just didn't know that all of the artists were associated with Casablanca. I didn't, had no idea about the record label. Right, and they were the, the rebels, really, of yeah. the industry at that time. Cecil Holmes, I was so fascinated how you could possibly study for this role, because mm. you do, obviously, phenomenal impressions. Yes, ma'am. Obama, everybody. <laughs> There's no video, no audio, mm -hmm. no interview record of nope. Cecil Holmes. So this is like a ghost in yeah, so many ways. Absolutely. So when you had, I just played it off of uh, Tim Bogart um, giving me the information about how Cecil was. So Tim um, Bogart as well. is the director, and his dad Neil yeah. was the co-founder. Yeah. As well. Neil, his father was Neil Bogart, was a cow. Co it was a founder of uh, Casablanca Buddha Records. And, um, you know, Joyce as well was uh, uh, is the, the, the mother. Uh, she was giving me info about Cecil. And since I didn't have my normal uh, tools to play with, yeah. you know, I would look at interviews and listen to the, to the voices. Um, I just really took into account what Tim told me. And he said that Cecil Holmes was, um, he was Neil Bogart's ride or die. He was his right hand man. He was willing to go anywhere with this guy. And um, from that, I played it because uh, even in my personal life, ride or dies are something that I hold close because I don't have a lot of friends. I know one who's you know? a ride or die. Yeah. I know one person on your list. My sister? Your sister. Yeah, absolutely. Your my, sister. my sister is still <laughs> Shayna. 
Shayna. Shayna has been, Shayna, she's so sweet. And it, look, my nephew, he's a little, he's gonna be a little star. When he get in the industry, I'm out. I'm not doing it no more. <laughs> um, but she's been my manager for 16 years. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. Yep, keeping in the family. I think, you know what? <laughs> you, you've talked about in the past being bullied in school. Absolutely. Bullied throughout your life. You did an interview. You said you described yourself as awkward at school, that you didn't have a lot of friends. Yeah. And she was your protector and yeah. actually convinced you to use your comedy as a weapon. Yeah, she was. Um, you know, it's... It, as a kid, I was uh, I was bullied everywhere. I was at a school, um, home even. My parents would say stuff. They didn't mean it, yeah. but they would, you know. I was a chunky kid. Were you a sensitive kid? Too? Yes. Yeah. I, yeah, I, yeah, y'all, y'all ooing, but you know, it was, <laughs> I, you know what? Cause I had, okay, all right, so. <laughs> I can blame, look, I can blame New York for this. I, I, I love New York and my aunts are up here, but they eat, you know? Uh -huh. When I was five, my parents sent me up here for a summer uh -huh. with my sister. And I remember when I took a shower before I left, the water would go straight down my back, like straight down. <laughs> when I got back from New York, it was shooting off, getting everything wet. <laughs> and I'm looking around like, wait a second. I was like, yo, what is this? And then I had, I had what I like to call robustness down there. Robust so, <laughs> or in the contemporary terms, we could say I had a Meg Thee Stallion ass, you know? So <laughs> that's what I had. So you learned to take this thing mm -hmm. that made people pick on you, yeah. and now you go out on the road at 15, because yeah. Shayna said, you can, we have a picture of you, I think when you were 19, yeah, that was, uh, yeah. on, the, on the circuit. Look at you. You know what? In the beginning. Look at look how look how big those pants are. <laughs> look like when I look at my style from like I'm like ooh yeah. don't show that one. Look at that's from that where is that from? That's I don't from know. Burlington Coat Factory. That's where that's from. But listen, so but I, I love that you talk <laughs> about your character being a ride or die and you having your ride or die. Absolutely. Before we go to commercial break, take a look. Shayna has a message your sister for you. Okay, what? surprise! Don't mind me. Just crashing interview. It's fine. <laughs> hey! Um, I just want to say congratulations. You all know him as Jay. You'll always be Jared to me. When we started this journey years and years ago, it was not even a question whether or not I was going to support you and help <laughs> your dreams come true. And I am so proud of how you've grown and how you continue to move in the way that you want to move and advocate for the things you want. I know that you have a relationship with the Lord. Keep that as tight as possible. And there is nothing that you can't do. And I can't wait to see how far you'll go. I love you. Congratulations. Let's make this movie number one. <laughs> Um, hey, man, y'all. Uh, why'd you do that, <laughs> Here I, you go. I love you so much. Thank you much. so much. I got, I'm gonna get makeup all <laughs> over. I'm gonna get makeup. I'm, my makeup gonna be messed up. <laughs> um, my sister has, she's always protected me. It just means so much, that message, because uh, we've been on this journey together, so it feels so, so good. where you are. Yep.